Keeping their winning streak alive, the Scots defeated Jefferson on Friday, October 12th. Uh, we pre prepared hard during a week of practice. Uh, overall, kids were focused, which was great, and uh, they really wanted to play for the seniors last year. This game was personal to us, so having that, we just felt more uh, fired up to play. So last year, uh, we were second place in our league, and we lost to Jefferson. And uh, we had a lead during that game, and we let it slip away, and our kids were bound and determined to not let that happen again. We were actually like really fired up because like we are really, we really wanted to win, and uh, we knew we could do it. Uh, we kept practice going 100%. Coaches were in it as well because everyone wanted to win this game and knew the importance of this game. So it was kind of just like a unit movement. It wasn't like one or two or a couple people that were moving. Everybody was on board and working together. In the beginning, we took a big charge, and on our first drive, we scored. Julian did, on offense did a lot. He got most of our yards and touchdowns. <laughs> It's always important to jump on the other team because then they start to get unsettled. All right, you can play a little bit more aggressively and uh, you can just get that snowball rolling. We talk to our kids all the time about getting that snowball going and uh, once you get that rolling, it's tough to stop. I think everyone played tough. I think everyone knew how important this game was and everyone wanted to pay them back for what they did last year and so everyone stepped up this game. We stopped them every play. Um, every once in a while they got some nice runs in, but for the most part we stopped them, tried to get the ball turned over, and then we just moved back on offense. Anything we were feeling like pain, like soreness, it was all worth it. It was all rewarding. Everyone was excited. Everyone was hyped up. I mean, of course, we're on our five game winning streak right now. Um, it, it was great, especially what happened last year, being able to come in and just whoop them at their own home. I mean, we were tired, of course. It was a long game. Uh, we overcame, uh, we saw, and we took over and we won. The Scots victory ended with the final score of 42 to 22. Reporting from Scott Center News, I'm Brianna McDonald.